I think now it's safe to say that we the fans are riding Naruto. Chapter 606 came out today, and I'm probably gonna be the only one that say this, but I was not too bothered like by this chapter. Like, I think I read something earlier, and a lot of folk were just kind of like, Oh man, this is just man, it was, uh, and I thought it was just, I mean, more than anything, I thought it was okay. I thought it was, I thought it served its purpose, you know, for like what it was supposed to do, answer some questions, but at the same time, it left some questions unanswered, which if the questions are addressed, this was a good thing. That's all I'm saying. I thought it was an okay chapter. I really do feel like that it was kind of rushed, but other than that, I thought it was an okay chapter. I know this may sound fucked up, but when I read this chapter, the one thing that I kept thinking about was Death Note. Like, everything that Obito was saying sounded like the first episode of Death Note. This world is rotten. I had to recreate the world, and I was just kind of like, damn, this motherfucker sounds like light. <laughs> like, as soon as I read the shot, I thought about Death Note, and I was kind of like, uh, I don't know why I thought about that, but anyway, I really hope, well, I know it's going to sound fucked up, but I really hope that Ren's character is deceased, you know, because I read some spoiler shit, I don't even know why I did it, but I read some spoiler shit that, su that may have suggested something like, she really didn't die or something like that or something fucked up I read. I only wanna read I only wanna reiterate the spoiler, but I hope her character really is dead because if not then this shit would have been totally, totally wasted, just like the whole purpose of this war. But um I like the fact that Obito said that uh he wanna recreate a world well, a dream world and that Kakashi will be in this world as well. So I can s I can see that he's not totally blaming Kakashi for killing Ren. He obviously knows that something had to happen to where he would have to do this. But I think Obito's purpose is to create a world where, like, shit like this could never happen. You know? I mean, and again, that's so, that's sort of commendable in a way. You know, I think that uh, more than anything, I think that his reaction to it was a bit overdramatic. But I think at the same time, the whole notion of I don't want anything to ever happen like this again, that was a that was a good push. I think the same thing kind of happened in uh, Full Metal Alchemist, Conqueror of Shambhala. Um, uh, Rav, the character Rav, he just like all of a sudden had a type of epiphany. He was just kind of like, I don't ever want to see family split up again. And he helped um, Al go to the world where Ed was so it was called almost the same thing like that I don't ever want to see that happen again so I'm going to change how I am to ensure that that doesn't happen again. We also learned a lot of stuff. We learned that the uh, black side of Zetsu is uh, Madara's will which was kind of awesome to say you know because Zetsu are made up of Hashirama Senju DNA and the fact that it's <laughs> like half Madara and half uh, Hashirama Senju. I thought that was cool. Um, we also learned that uh, Madara gave uh, Nagato his own eyes, which we could, you know, more than likely put that shit together. But uh, he said he gave it to him as a child in a way to where no one would notice. So I don't know what that means really, but he just pulled his eyes out of his head and just stuck his own in. It's kind of fucked up to do as a baby. We also see that Madara taught Obito like a whole bunch of techniques. He just showed him a whole slew of techniques. And this would explain to all the like naysayers of like how was um, Obito able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Minato. Can't even really say toe-to-toe -to -toe because Obito lost. 
But um, <clears throat> I was here able to stand toe to toe with uh, Minato during that fight. Well, this would explain it. Uh, he was inside of um, Madara's Genjutsu world, so I'm pretty sure time in that world. I'm pretty sure time in that world just move significantly faster than what it would do in the real world. So he taught him a whole bunch of techniques there, and he told him that uh, he was the one who revived the Getamago, the statue that he actually pulled from the moon, according to his story. And um, he disconnects himself from the Getamago when he teaches over to all the stuff and he dies. Oh, yeah, before that, he says that um, when he put the Sinju DNA inside of him, no pun intended, <laughs> he said that nothing happened at first. But as he was slipping into death, that's when the Renegon activated. So I was like, oh, okay, that's that's cool. That's kind of cool. Does that mean someone else can get the Renegon when they're slipping into death? Obito, hint, hint. Because he has Senju DNA inside of his body. His whole, one, his whole side is Senju DNA. In essence, Obito is like the perfect creation of the black and white Zetsu. Half of him is Senju DNA and the other half of his own Uchiha DNA. So, you know, could he awaken a Renegon of his own? I'm not talking about the shit that's in his other eye. I'm talking about could he awaken one of his own in his other eye? That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, other than that, though, that's pretty much how this chapter boiled down. At the very end, uh, when Madara dies, he's like, take up the mantle, Madara Uchiha. And when... Uh, Obito introduces himself to Nagato. He says, I'm Madara Uchiha. So, that's how this particular chapter ends. Uh, if I had to rate it, I would give it a 7 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? It served its purpose. It was it was uh, mildly entertaining in the, you know, at the most. Um, what do you guys think about uh, Ren's body? What do you think going on there? What do you think happening? Uh... If you could, man, leave a thumbs up on this video and uh, drop some comments below. And I'm going to update, I mean, update. I'm going to upload a um, series recommendation video later on today. So you can check that out as well. The series that I'm recommending is High School DXD. So you can check that out. And uh, see you guys later.